A Metro Detroit veteran is all set to conclude his nearly 1800 mile walk across America in Rochester Hills tomorrow. The 36 year olds journey started May 13th from Sarasota, Florida, covering six states and making his way back to Michigan. His purpose, raising money for fellow veterans. 7 Action News reporter Faraz Java caught up with Jack Huffman in Madison Heights. Jax, how many days has it been since you've been walking? Uh, this is day 61. Jack Huffman, also known as Jax, was an Army helicopter mechanic. His reason behind the nearly 1800 mile walk is to raise money for fellow veterans. Pursuit of happiness, they, they gave that to us. So oh, this is, you know, paying that back to them. Florida, Georgia, Tennessee, Kentucky, Indiana, and now Michigan. Jacks walk nearly 30 miles a day, raising over $11,000. Your shoes are pretty, they look pretty good. Yeah, this is my third pair. What? So I burned, burned the rubber right off with two pairs already. From blisters to calluses, Jack says his body has gone through a lot. Plus, on top of that, the six feet three inches man has been pulling 200 pounds of additional weight throughout the journey, carrying camping batteries, tents, a sleeping bag, food, water, and a fire staff. I'm actually a fire performer as well. Oh, wow. As well as a carpenter. So okay. I do a little bit of everything. Were you able to do any performances I along was, the way? Yeah, in Nashville. But Jax was not alone. Nikki the Dove was his companion throughout. She'll be released at the Salute Our Warriors event with about 100 other uh, doves to signify that her brothers and sisters are heard. On uh, World War II, they used to use homing pigeons to deliver messages, and 90% of the messages were received that way. Jax has done many walks in the past. In 2019, Jax set out from Newport Beach, California, and walked nearly 3,000 miles to Tybee Island in Georgia, raising money for St. Jude Children's Hospital. What's that one thing that you've learned from this journey? Um, just that America is, is very united. And speaking of... A special honor was waiting for the 36-year-old at Madison Heights Fire Station. USA! USA! Madison Heights Mayor Rosalind Grafstein also presented Jax with a $1,200 check, money raised by community businesses. An authorized to give you a key to the city. A moment that Jack's mom, Sandra, will always remember. I'm very, very proud of him. Now, Jax's last stop is going to be tomorrow at the 6th yes. Annual Salute Our Warriors event in Rochester Hills. You can catch him there. And for details, head to WXYZ.com. You can also find more information on how you can support this great cause all year round. Reporting from Madison Heights, I'm Faraz Javid, 7 Action News. Quite the effort.